So I just wanted to give you guys a little rundown of the way that we're uh, rigging up our tackle down here at Zancudo's Lodge. The way we got it rigged up, we got two different rigs. If we're dropping back for sailfish, we're using the P-Line fluorocarbon and we're using a 100 pound liter. When we're uh, using for tuna, we're going to use a 60 pound fluorocarbon liter. As far as far the hooks goes, we're using uh, Demon Mustad hooks and for the drop bait for the for the sailfish we're using the 8 odd offset uh, thin wire demon circle hook but then we got a different setup when we go for the tuna we got the 604x demon circle hook and that's going to be ringed the reason why we have it ringed is that we're using live bait I'm going to show you the live bait we're using here but that live bait just allows that thing to swim a little more freely helps to entice a bite this is what they call a sardinia down here in Costa Rica. It's really a striped herring, but since we're here in Costa Rica, we're gonna to refer to them as sardinias. And the way that we're rigging them is we're going right through that yellow spot in the nose and rigging it just like that. And we're dropping these back for sailfish. And since we're dropping them back in the trolling spread on the sailfish rigs, we are using a snap swivel. Because sometimes you're gonna get some turbulent water and so we don't want to get any twisting in the line and you'll see we got that crimped on there so it's gonna it's gonna move around real freely it works very similar to the way the circle hook works with the ring system on the tuna so the other bait we have here is what we call a blue runner you know as you can see very active very strong bait you put this thing out there and free spool and it starts ripping out it feels like you actually have a fish on the line these have been uh, working really well. Uh, the marlin are keyed into these, and also when we get on these uh, spinner dolphin, the big, the bigger tuna really like these just because they're a little bit bigger bait and it's running really fast. We're rigging these the same way through the nose if we're dropping them back behind the boat, or if we get in and we want to drop them down lower, we'll actually kind of butt rig them or rig them towards the tail, and that helps them uh, dive down so they're a little bit deeper in the water column. But that's the way we're rigging these up. We've had a lot of great action. The hot bait's really been the sardine bait for us. And then we've also been throwing poppers, uh, surface cruisers and poppers that were uh, dynamite the last couple days uh, when we pull up on these spinner dolphin and the uh, tuner up, up high. They've been uh, reacting really well to them.